How to set up the JetBrains Rider IDE for Unreal Engine. First, we will need to install Rider. You can download the installer from the official Rider downloads page on the JetBrains website. Open the installer and go through the various prompts in the installer on your own to install Rider. But Rider is just an IDE, it doesn't compile C++ on its own. For that, we need to install the Visual Studio build tools from the official Visual Studio website under where it says All Downloads, Tools for Visual Studio. If you already have the full Visual Studio IDE or the build tools installed, you can skip this step. Open up the newly downloaded Visual Studio installer. And from here, you can select what workloads and individual components you want to include with your MS Build Tools installation. For Unreal Engine, we need the desktop development with C++ workload. For Writer specifically, we need the .NET SDK, which should include the latest .NET runtimes. Note for older versions of Unreal Engine 5, you may need either the .NET Core 3.1 or the .NET 6 runtime component as well as an older version of the MSVC C++ X64 X86 build tools. With that said, let's install the build tools. This may take a while, so feel free to pause the video, like and subscribe, and come back when this is done. After the build tools have finished installing, let's make a new C++ project from the Unreal Engine editor. Any template works, but I'm going to use the third person template. The project should have opened up automatically in the Unreal Engine editor and in the default code editor, which as you can see for me is not Writer. To fix this, open your project in Unreal Engine, go to Edit, Editor Preferences, and from here, General, Source Code, change the default source code editor to Writer. Don't forget to restart the editor to apply the new settings. If your project didn't automatically open up in Writer after the restart, either right-click the project's Visual Studio solution file in File Explorer and open it with Writer, or go to the editor and select Tools, Open Writer. Going back to Writer, if this is your first time opening Writer, you'll be prompted with various licensing paths. If you purchase a commercial license, then select Activate License. Otherwise, if your usage of Writer falls under JetBrains definition of non-commercial use, then select the free non-commercial use option. If your use case is commercial and you don't have a paid subscription, you could have tried out the free 30-day trial. Doesn't require a login. The other two options, however, do require logging into a JetBrains account, so if you don't have one, go ahead and create one. Once you've logged in on the JetBrains website, go back to Writer, and if this is a newly created account, then activate your license for non-commercial or commercial use. <laughs> Lastly, just go through these last few prompts with regards to settings and writer on your own. For low spec PCs that have less than 32 gigabytes of RAM, I suggest turning off indexing of engine files by going to file on the top left corner, settings, languages and frameworks, C++, Unreal Engine, and unchecking index Unreal Engine source files. Otherwise, keep this setting on. Another way to improve performance in the Writer IDE on Windows is to exclude project and Writer related directories from Microsoft Defender antivirus scans. You can do this by going to Windows Security, Virus and Threat Detection, Manage Settings, and scrolling to the bottom where it said Exclusions. Writer suggests excluding three locations, where your NuGet packages are installed, the Writer Cache folder, and your Unreal Project folder. Going back to the Writer IDE settings, let's install the Writer Link Unreal Editor plugin, which is under Languages and Frameworks, Unreal Engine, and select Install Writer Link in Engine. Give it a few seconds and click Save. Then let's enable the plugin by going back to the Unreal Editor by going to Edit, Plugins, and look up Writer Link. This plugin is what differentiates Writer from other IDEs because it gives Writer features connected to the Unreal Editor. One of them is Blueprint Awareness, so if we go to one of our project's class declarations, for example the third person character header file, Writer will actually tell us which blueprints are derived from the C++ character class, and we can go directly to that blueprint from Writer to the editor. If you don't see these small Unreal icons by the classes tag U class, or the variables and functions tag U property and U function respectively, then make sure in the settings that you have code vision enabled. Writer Link provides other cool features, but we will cover those in another video. While I'm here, let's make the text size a little bigger by going to Editor, Fonts, so that the next part of the video is easier to see.
For now, let's make sure we can actually make changes to our project C++ code and have them applied in the editor. So I'm going to modify the project character's do move method to make it move slower. Then go back to the editor and press Control Alt F11 to build the project. If Control Alt F11 didn't do anything, then that means you probably have live coding disabled. To enable it, go to editor preferences and look up live coding. The last thing I want to cover is debugging an Unreal project from Writer. Let's show this by selecting an easy line of code that we can step over. For this, I'm going to choose the character's jump method. Place a breakpoint by clicking on one of the line numbers in that jump method. Note that since this is engine code, your Unreal Engine installation needs the editor symbols for debugging. If you build Unreal from source, you can disregard this. And we can attach the writer debugger to the currently running instance of the editor by clicking this Unreal icon on the top and selecting Attach to Unreal Editor. And if we play our game in the editor, you'll notice when we try to jump, the game stops and writer takes over. Let's give execution control back to the game by pressing F9 or clicking this green arrow resume button. We can even remove this breakpoint live and play the game like normal again. Once we're done, let's unattach the debugger from Unreal by pressing Ctrl F2 or clicking this red square button. And that is it. If you found the video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server, follow us on our other social media, support us like our higher tier patrons and Lucas Moskin and Morgan Heidemann, and have a nice day.